Lovely models. I think you've thought about that on more than one occasion, Couple but it's not just about the models, Matt. <laughs> to find out what it's really like, we asked our lovely weather girl, Sean Welby, to go along to the Burberry show. It was her first ever fashion show, so let's see how she got on. For my first ever London fashion show, what better place to start than the very fabulous, the very British, Burberry? You know we're superstars, we are who we are. Well, I'm here, it's starting to get quite exciting. People are starting to arrive. The last preparation's just being made to the stage and apparently it's one of the longest runways in history. So I'm quite cold, but very excited. As one of the most prestigious fashion labels, Burberry attracts all the top celebs. Fashion boffs, Hollywood actresses, pop stars, and even the very stylish Samantha Cameron popped along too. Hollywood star Kate Bosworth came dressed head to toe in Burberry. Well, it would be rude not to. Uh, this is, well, this is Burberry, obviously. Um, and it's, uh, I don't know, I feel like it's a bit of a weapon as well, so. Is it comfy to sit in? Yeah, I know, I get asked that a lot. I, I tested that out when I, <laughs> when I saw it and I thought, oh, that would be so, you know, I'd love to wear that, but I, I need to kind of sit in it, sort of see how that feels. And it's weird, it's constructed in such a way that you actually, it doesn't, it doesn't affect the way it feels on you and from the exterior. So. Actually quite practical then. Yeah, yeah. although heavy. <laughs> heavy. Really heavy. <laughs> Ellie Golding wore Burberry too, but she didn't spend too long preening herself for the event. I was running and I haven't really even washed my hair. Wow. Since, so I've been out on a four or five mile run. So yeah, I look terrible. But I didn't mind. I mean, the coat, I could I could have a bin bag on my face. and the, could have your pyjamas on under there, couldn't exactly. you? Exactly. Well, I've got a camisole which I cut. <laughs> Um, because it was too long under here. So, um, yeah, I'm basically just, the coat is just, yeah, everything. The very gorgeous Douglas Booth is the face of Burberry and told me what to expect from my first Burberry show. The Burberry show is always very special because it's so exciting. It's, um, it's always crazy. It's, uh, it's such a, it looks like to me a really long runway today. Um, and when I was in Milan for the, the men's one, the men's autumn winter 11, it rained at the end of the show. It literally just rained on all the models. And the front row didn't get wet, so they'd scientifically kind of gauged it, but it was, it was crazy. On that note, it was time to go inside and let the show begin. There was no rain this time, instead Burberry showcased some amazing outfits in a blizzard of winter snow. Incredible. So, Sean, welcome to the sofa. Thank you. It all looked fabulous. It, it looked amazing. Um, why is Burberry such a big deal? Well, it only came to London two years ago, back from Milan, and since then it's been regarded as the big show of the week. Mm. They always do something a little bit outrageous. I think one year there was even a row of dogs watching no. the show. <laughs> and, of course, it attracts the big names. Uh, last year we saw the likes of Sarah Jessica Parker, and this year there was uh, Anna Wintour, who is the... Uh, fashion royalty. Fashion, fashion, fashion royalty. Well, royal the editor man. of the US Vogue. Yeah. So, you know, mm. she's the one to ask when it comes to fashion. Mm. Mm. It looked like you were having an amazing time down there, but there were a lot of studs going on, I noticed, <laughs> on Ellie Golding's jacket and Kate Bosworth's dress. Is that going to be a big trend this year? I think so. I mean, yeah, the, you know, Ellie Golding's jacket looked amazing. Mm. And Kate Bosworth's dress, she described it as more of a weapon than actually an <laughs> item of clothing. Do you think it would well, have been very comfortable to wear? Well, she said it was, apparently, so... Mm. What about the catwalk show? Was it as spectacular as what I think it could be? It was amazing. It literally, it took up uh, Kensington gardens the runway itself is 49 meters long wow. I mean, it's a long way to walk in killer heels so quite yeah. impressive that no one fell over it was snow in luck yes <laughs> the lovely snow yeah, i mean it just looked fantastic yeah. and uh, and the nice thing actually about the burberry range is it's not too over the top you know you can actually okay. imagine wearing it okay. i can imagine let's wearing talk about it, those Sean. max you right? Can as well, right don't stop talking about clothes <laughs> oh you're on lady love okay yeah, lady, lady love, love. <laughs> how much is one of those max Right, OK, well, this was for the pro sum Burberry range, OK? So normally a Burberry Mac is around £500. Mm. But these ones were nearer £2,000. £2,000? Oh. <laughs> right, it's just too practical. I think that you should treat me and Sean to a nice uh, yeah, Mac. £4,000? Yeah, I could do anything. Are a you mental? As well. Sean, well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you can now leave £2,000. That's, £2, leave. £2, That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's one trend that we didn't see on this week's catwalks, and that is the girl crush. You get a little bit too excited.